First Peter. Petro wa matomo. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. 13 to 16. 13 of 16. Can you read? Today I want us to look at our lives. Le khono ke rata re lebelle mapilwaje mbopolojwa rena. And go back. Re wela mrawanya. Check our Christian life. Ro thola pholoso tsa rena. Because God want us to be holy. Ka ba ne modimo nya ko re ba ba khetwa. Right. Holiness. It's our lives. Your response are important. In the life of holiness. What is our response? Number one, it says, be completely sober. Be completely sober. Be completely sober. To be sober is to be steadfast. And have self-discipline. Or be morally alert. In other words, there will be things that will come your way so that you respond in a different way. As a child of God, you are called to live a holy life. If you want to live a holy life, you know your past. You know that your past were your past. The evil desires, the things you were doing before, don't do them again. Why? Because you have a hope. You have hope. Focus on that hope. You want to live a holy life. You want to live to please God. If you believe, say amen. Why the word of God has transformed you. The word of God is there. If you want to live a holy life, you remember that the word of God is the mirror. Whatever you want to find in your life, which you have to do in your life, go straight to the way. You are not conformed to the moral standard of the way. The Bible says you have been transformed from the from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Therefore, the past is the past. The past is the past. You are called to holiness. Sometimes when you know that you are called to holiness, it becomes big. Better in your response. It becomes better in your character. In other words, it means you'll be brought to a place where you are supposed to live somehow. You will end up telling yourself, I'm called to live holy life. I'm called to show that I'm holy. And there's one who's looking at me, who's really inspecting me. And he wants me to be like him. He wants me to live the life that he's expecting. Not the life of response because of situations. Whatever you are going through, I want to take you out of your calling. You are called to live holy life. You are called to live a holy life. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 1. If we can go back to Isaiah 1. From verse 14. Verse 14 God doesn't look unto the activities. He look unto relationships. Because when you start to live a holy life. You stand on the same ground. Of where he's standing. If you want to know that you are with God, you deal with your life and stand on the same ground by living a holy life. There are things that we must stop. There are things that we must get rid of. Not activities in the church. I have seen many people they are 
busy in the church. Ba busy karanto ya modimo. But they don't have relationship with God. Mara bana se khotse le modimo. They are living an holy life. Ba phila maphelo a mabe. Holiness makes God to look at us. Bo khetwa bo dira gore modimo modimo o lebelela. Holiness. Bo khetwa. It makes God to look at us. O bo dira gore modimo a re lebelela. When you don't live holy life. How se phire bo phelo bo bo khetwa. God will hide his eyes. Modimo o fitha mathwa a hae. The eyes of God. Mathwa modimo. Are on the faithful. A dula le tshi go dimo ba tshepeha. I know you are facing some challenges. Ke tsibo go bana If you can live a holy life, only one week. Fela beketi. You're on the eyes of God. Umo matonga morena. You're a candidate. Owe umuto. What you want to do? Yes, so nechun kadi lo chanya kangu dili. With your life. Kapo pilo bahau. There's so many people who are here. Una leba chapa nchiba tengmo. You believe miracles. Udu melaka mi mutolo ndi chofa. Will just come. Uru odi no tafela fela. If they come that way. Adi takatsela yena yewe. Will also just go. Au warita no ya fela fela liri na. I'm here to tell you. Kimo le talu seja. Check your life. Ngo tole. Holiness must be your portion. Don't defile yourself. Remember Daniel one. If we read Daniel one, read Daniel one. Just read Daniel one. Daniel one. Daniel one. And see what Daniel did. Because Daniel also did it by himself. Daniel did Daniel did it by himself. Daniel also did it by himself. Daniel also Daniel did it by himself. Daniel also did it by himself. Daniel Daniel Arabale Daniel chapter 1 Let's read verse verse 5 We have to make your mind O tsontjo ro fetse le mogopolo wa hao Ha o nya go pila bo You have to make your mind O fetse le mogopolo wa hao These are opportunities Ye ke minyeta many of us we want to Ye ba bantshi ba rena re ka sona o ihana But Daniel said Mara o re Daniel yena He made this mind O ila fetse le mogopolo wa hao I can see this fool Na di jo ke di bona mm They don't correspond A di tsamaisane with what I believe Le tsena ke dumela go tsona This fool will defy Di jo tse di tan chila fatsa I won't be fit Nan ka se swanelwe receive the blessing Ka wa amogela di tshufa tsho Because my blessing Ta ba shi di tshufa tsa ka It's not coming from the king is coming from my God. If I stand on the same level with my God and do what he, he want me to do, I will receive the blessing that he want me to receive. He made up his mind that he won't defile himself. How many people today who can make up their mind that I want to serve God and serve him only? When things come your way to tempt you and test you so that you defile yourself, you tell yourself, I have made up my mind. I have made up my mind. I want to do what God says. I want to follow my God. I want to please him only. There are some things that look so good but they are not good for your soul. For your spiritual life, you need to deny them. They are good. They can make you like you are prosperous. But they defile you. There are some things you can receive. There are people who are receiving things that steal the blessing. That steal them from God. That defile them. But I'm here to tell you that those things are for temperance. When Daniel, Daniel, when he chose not to defile himself, he was found with the blessings from above. I'm here to tell you there's a blessing that is coming your way from above. When you are denying all these finest things, God is about to give you what nobody can steal from you. I want to prophesy something. Who's listening to me? What you are crying for? As you set yourself aside, God is about to bless you. He's about to increase you. It can be like a delay, but you are on the 
away. It can be like his car. But you are pointed. Because God is about to do things that has never been done. Daniel received things that has never happened before. He was better than all. He was better than all. He was better than all. I can see you becoming better than all. I can see you becoming better than all. I can see you becoming better than all. When you are denying all, which are temporary, they look like they are the blessings, but they are temporary. When you are denying them, God is about to give you something that will make you to be on top. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Jude. Jude 1. Jude chapter 1. Verse 20. Verse 20. Just go there. When you are living a holy life, because you have got hope that when Jesus appears, you appear with him, you will see him. Even when things are not working, right now, because you have got a hope that Jesus, one day you will come. I don't know if you are hearing I me. I can see Jesus coming to bless someone. You won't wait for the end of the world. You won't wait for the end of the world. You won't wait. You also have to Get something from God. I see Jesus coming to bless you. I see him appearing to bless you. The hand of the Lord is about to lift you up. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you are busy following God by his word, by the scriptures, building yourself, having hope, something will happen. You don't need to worry when people are like prospering in front of you. The truth of the word is he is coming back. He is coming back. It is possible he can come back today. It is possible he can come back tomorrow. But he must find you ready. Your readiness is holy life. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you are living a holy life, you are ready. Holy life, it works with the right spirit. Holy life, it makes your heart clean. And there's a spirit. The, the spirit that will make you to be steadfast. And this will make you to stay in his presence. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you want God to lead you to his faithfulness, you need a holy heart. You cannot hear God speaking. You won't find the direction of God. If your heart is dead, there are some things that God will never give you also. Until your heart is clean. Deal with your heart. Check somebody say, hey, deal with your heart. 2 Timothy 2.16 There are things you need to avoid. I want to tell you something that will really shock you. If you want to be perfect, Talk what is perfect. Your fight to stay in holiness is in your tongue. Your fight to stay in holiness is in your tongue. If you hear people jesting, Talking things that does not have the word. The word of God is the salt. Run away. Avoid them. There are some friends that the devil has sent among you to make you weak in your words. 
they make you to talk things. So that when you say the name of Jesus, it won't happen. They are defiling you. They start topics that does not make sense. Many of you, you are mingling with wrong people. They want you to talk useless things. Time when we say, let there be light, you will find it's dark. God wants you to be like him. When you are holy, you will get the character of God. You will speak like him. If you believe, say amen. So now, if you try to allow people talking what you are not even believing in, you will end up talking like that. He who cannot fall by his tongue is perfect. If you want to live a holy life, Check what you say. Check your friends. What they are saying. Avoid them. If they are speaking wrong things. Avoid them. They are making your prayer useless. They are making your lifestyle useless. Don't cry for them. Run away from them. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some people who are here. Already because people are helping you. They are your friends. Listen to this. God can help you better. God can help you better. It is good when your soul is going to heaven than to lose it by the little things that you are getting from your friends. This is the time where you check your life. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you get a friend who's talking about about someone. Avoid that friend. Run away from that friend. If you believe, say amen. Ask your neighbor, say hey. Which friend do you want to avoid? There's a friend you need to avoid. You need to avoid that friend. There's a brother you need to avoid. There's a sister you need to avoid. For the sake of holiness.